Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? <laughs> How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, ah, never heard, heard no horse. <laughs> <laughs> It's been another week that didn't seem to go my way. Why does it have to be so hard? Right now I just need to find my way back home and watch the river flow past your backyard. All I need, all I need. It's hard getting out of bed But there's no use in sitting around and crying So I'll just take a walk with you instead like we need a long vacation it would be nice to get away but we don't really have the money so we'll just stay at home and play all I need all I need is to be right where you are all I need and play a song or two My name is Ralph Littler, and our guests today are Jerry and Olga. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having us. Thank We're you. really, really happy to be here. It's a great song. Thank you. Nice. It, it wrote itself <laughs> in the backyard, <laughs> looking at the river. <laughs> it sounds ideal. It was a true collaboration. Yeah, and a true story. <laughs> what river are you looking at? The Rahway, Rahway yeah, River. Rahway River. It runs through 
it runs through Cranford. I guess uh, Cranford is the Venice of New Jersey, so we're lucky to lucky to be there. We have our own river. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> I've been on that river in a boat. It's a nice river. Mm. So what else do you have for us? I guess, I guess. Okay, so, um, yeah, this is another original. Um, it's, uh, it's about, um, I guess, love doesn't just appear in the world. People have to make a decision to add it to the world. So I guess that's what this song's about. child who has been abandoned by parents who were not to be. I can grow up to be well and happy if you show your love to me. Show But with a rich and full memory, I can give you a new understanding if you show your love to me. Show. I am a man who stands before you, poised to be your enemy, but I will extend a hand in friendship if you show your love to me. Show
Great. Great stuff. Thank you. Thank you very much. So how did you two meet and start playing music together? We met at a music event, actually. Um, there's a uh, there's a get together in Somerville, New Jersey, a nonprofit get together of uh, people that just get together and sit around and play guitars and and we both went there separately and found each other there. And uh, yeah, as soon as I heard her sing, I was like, I I, I want to sing with her more. <laughs> so I always tried to sit next to her. <laughs> it's it's a place where everybody plays the same thing at the same time and there's no amplification. So if you make a mistake, it's it's okay. So we all sing very it's a lot quietly. Of fun. <laughs> it's, it's a lot, a lot of, fun. of fun, yeah. What's the name of that group? It's called New Jersey Music in the Park. It's a it's a meetup group. Acoustic, acoustic music, music in the NJM. park. And Jay Ant. And uh, they have they've branched out and they have all kinds of uh, different meetups and it, it has it's a very very large group. It's about 300 400 people actually. That's a new one on me. I haven't yeah. heard of that group before. <laughs> yeah, it was, they have it a was lot formed of talent, through yeah. meetup. There's a yeah, there's fun online way that people can create events and, and invite people, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So cool. yeah, that's uh, that's how we met. And she didn't actually sing too loud. I was sitting next to her, and I was, I, I, she's like, <laughs> she'll sing louder. Of course, I had no idea at that time what a beautiful voice she really had. I just encouraged her to let me hear it. <laughs> so this is all his fault. <laughs> But we, we've been playing together for a little bit, and uh, we, we also are members of the Folk Project, and uh, we were fortunate enough to, the first time we went to the, uh, to the festival, now the getaway, we won the Vocalato. And uh, thanks to that, I think, is a little bit of why this next song happened, and uh, you, should, you should talk about this. So uh, the, the, at the festival, they have a, this thing called the Vocalato, where uh, you, you, they put themes. You, you put your name in, this, in a jar, and there's a theme. So we put our names in, and she got picked for um, songs, of her fa songs of your family. And she was like, what are we going to play? What are we going to play? And I said, this next song is what we need to play. Oh. And, uh, and uh, let's play it. No, we're not. First, we're going to Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. First, <laughs> right, that's the next. But before that. <laughs> but before that, okay. So this next song actually is, um, it's, uh, it's a song about Pete Seeger. It's in honor of Pete Seeger. Uh, you know, he's a real life hero of ours as he is of, was of many people. Uh, when I was a kid growing up, uh, you know, I, the, the astronauts were real life heroes and Pete Seeger was, was a real life hero to me because he would just stand up for what he believed in no matter what. And, um, and this is a song about that, a uh, tribute to him. Ready? Mm -hmm. Can you stop a bullet with a banjo? It's a dangerous thing to try. Doesn't offer much protection when bullets start to fly. When they're all lined up against you, Think it's time to go. Can you stop a bullet with a banjo? Must say that I don't know. Can you stop a bullet with a banjo? Police in riot gear. Would you stand up and start singing so everyone could hear? There was a man there standing when others hit the floor. Can you stop a bullet with a banjo? Must say, I'm not sure. When he saw injustice, one man's voice would ring. Another voice would join him. Soon millions more would sing. Can you stop a bullet with a banjo? Can you stop a war with a song? If you pull a shooting star.
Farm workers in California, miners in Tennessee, marchers in Alabama, stuck in the big muddy, sailing up and down the Hudson under a tree. He sang for freedom, he sang for dignity. Can you start a foot with a banjo? Question still remains. Can you change the course of history with a few simple refrains? With words carefully chosen that all can understand. Can you start a bullet with a banjo played by an honest man? When he saw injustice, one man's voice would ring, another voice would join him, soon millions more would sing. Can you stop a bullet with a banjo? Can you stop the war with a song? If before the shooting starts, you can point out what is wrong. If before the shooting starts, you can point out what is wrong. Thank you. Thank you. So the, the reason all that happened is that when we went to, to the getaway and we were picked, uh, we were picked because we had to sing a song of my parents. And the big dilemma there was that my parents, I'm Cuban, I was born in Cuba, my parents were Cuban, and my parents would sing in Spanish, and I was telling Jerry, what am I going to sing? No one here is going to understand what I'm going to sing. And uh, Jerry explained to me that... Uh, Guantanamera was actually made famous in the United States by Pete Seeger and because he arranged it and then he started singing it and it w became, I guess if you go online and you look up Guantanamera and, and Pete Seeger, it says that he wanted to have uh, all our people together and sing the song in Spanish and I just, I didn't believe that. It was like, that's amazing. For us, Guantanamera is like a, like a national anthem. It's like the second... Uh, national anthem, so I was really surprised. So we rehearsed it and sang it, and uh, everyone knew it, which to me was just amazing. They all, they all started <laughs> singing along. And so this is that's the next song that we would like to to play for you, and uh, one of these. And it was very surprising to me. Uh, I'm not sure that there was another Hispanic person in the audience, and everybody was singing in Spanish. So <laughs> I think that was very. Funny. Yo soy un hombre sincero De donde crece la palma Yo soy un hombre sincero De donde crece la palma Y antes de morir me quiero Echar mis versos del alma. Cuánta lamera, guajira, cuánta lamera, cuánta lamera, guajira, cuánta lamera. Mi verso es de un verde claro. Y de un carmín encendido, mi verso es de un verde claro. Y de un carmín encendido, mi verso es un siervo herido que busca en el monte amparo. Cuánta mera. Guajira, Guantanamera, Guantanamera, Guajira, Guantanamera. Cultivo una rosa blanca, 
En julio como en enero cultivo una rosa blanca. En julio como en enero para el amigo sincero que me da su mano franca. Guajira, Guantanamera, Guantanamera, Guajira, Guantanamera, Guantanamera, Guajira, Guantanamera, Guantanamera. Guajira, Guantanamera. Thank Excellent. You. Thank you very much. That reminds me of a story I, I heard about Pete Seeger. He was booked in a stadium in some country that w had a repressive regime. And when he got there, the police told him that he couldn't sing the words. He just went on stage and played the tunes, and everybody. Everybody started singing his songs. Yeah. I, I, that was an amazing story. That I think so that powerful. happened in Spain with, with Franco. That the Franco right. regime. That's amazing. And For somebody to have so many songs that everybody knows. That's, and that's really incredible. Fearless. Right. Fearless to walk on the stage and do that after the state police just told you not to, not to sing your song. Right. Amazing, amazing story. That's it, yeah. So, we're big fans. And we had, we were fortunate, we went to the Clearwater Festival uh, two years ago and we were able to see him yeah. actually perform. So that was, that was quite a privilege. Yeah. So, we have, we have one more, one more. Um, I hope you'd like to get in touch with us. Uh, Sharingolder.com. <laughs> you can visit us there. Yeah. Love to hear from you. Yeah. One more song. Okay, so this is uh, this is a song that gets written when Olga's in Miami and you're in Cranford and it's raining outside. <laughs>
But tomorrow sun will shine so bright We'll be headed for the shade The weather's interfering with the plans we made. But tomorrow, sun will shine so bright, we'll be headed for the shade. Into each of our lives, little. As we're together, I don't mind at all. Today, I guess we're staying in, guess we're staying inside. For today, I guess we're staying in, but tomorrow the sun will shine for today i guess we're staying in guess we're staying inside for today i guess we're staying in but tomorrow the sun will shine oh yes tomorrow the sun will shine Oh, yes, tomorrow the sun will shine. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. For more information. Yeah. Yes. We just oh. have a few seconds oh. left. Okay. We could try and start the.